Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Steve Woody and I'm going to be talking to you in this video about big time and why you need to pay attention to this video. This is the first game that I've ever seen in the web free space that is proving the play to earn model correct. And yes, for a long time now I've told people that play to earn is dead. This game may just prove me wrong. So why am I excited about it? What can you learn by it? How can I help you understand it better? And how can you take advantage right now? We're going to cover all of that in this video. So let's just jump ahead and get started. Big Time right now is in pre-season launch and they're doing some incredible marketing at the moment. And this is a company that is already making tens of millions of dollars through their current live version of the game. And so I want to just take you through what they're doing and how they're doing this so that you understand. And to do that, we first need to have a look at their leaderboard. So the leaderboard at the moment is something that is happening over the next three months. You have the ability to compete to earn points for rewards. And why is this important and why do you care? Well, at the moment, the total prize pool over three months is 95 and a half million tokens. Oh, sorry, it's 97, 000, sorry, 97 million 500 thousand tokens okay just under 100 million tokens why do we care about that well let's go across to and this is 97 by the way 97 million 500 thousand what does that equate to it is almost 25 million dollars because the current price of big time is 25 cents now i know what you're thinking but steve this is going to be a shit coin this is going to go to zero why are you basing this on the current value when we know in a month's time that won't be true. I agree, it's very possible this token will go down. However, what they've built is brilliant and it just might hold its value for long enough for this airdrop campaign. Now obviously once people get their airdrops and cash out, we're gonna see some real resistance here, but it's possible. It's possible it holds its own and, and let me explain why. Right, so we talk about the leaderboard and the way that you can actually earn in this game. So you can rank up and you get a few points for that. You can do what are called prestige portals and we'll talk about that in a minute. And you can craft and I'll talk about that in a minute. To do the prestige portals and crafting costs real money. And that's what I believe is going to underpin this economy and hold some stability in the current price or at least a decent price. And we're going to see that now. So. I've done this, I've been playing this, I can attest to how hard it is to craft this currency. The only way you can mint this token is by playing the game. And the only way you can do that is to invest real money. So you have to invest money to be able to mint this token. Meaning that the people playing this game are the ones that are gonna get paid for playing the game, i.e. pay to earn. And look, it's just gone over 25 cents as we're watching this. And it's holding quite stable so far. If we look at this since it launched, yes, it did launch down here at around five cents, which is where we can expect to see it. But it has taken off. And at the moment, we can see it is currently sitting enjoying its euphoria. Now, as every token, it goes up, it comes down. I fully, fully, fully expect to see it around the one to five cent mark. But it might just hold out for long enough for this leaderboard to legitimately be 20 plus million dollars is possible. Now, who knows? But let me talk you through this. How does it work? Well, in order to be able to take part, the game itself is a free to play game. So you can go ahead and you can play this game. It is a free to play game. And you can simply go into dungeons, you clear out dungeons and you level up these what are called pocket watches. Okay, so the whole purpose of this game is you have these characters and you can level them up. Now, if you want to, just going into the about the game and talking about this quickly, you can, you can choose your class. There are time warriors, which are going to be uh, like your tank. Chronomancer, which is uh, like your uh, ranged uh, damaged heroes, your mages. Shadow blades, which are like your agility heroes. Quantum fixers, which are like your healers. These are the only four currently in the game with two more coming. And you'll go through and you'll be able to um, take on these dungeons uh, and you have a watch. Now your watch, you can apply uh, cogs to your watch and it's all around time. It's about time. 
So you're basically going through these dungeons. Some are in the past, some are in the future. You might end up fighting T-Rexes. You might end up fighting robots. You might end up fighting T-Rex robots. And there's a lore to the game, which I'm not going to ruin, but it involves a futuristic Ben Franklin, which again is is, is really interesting. And it's, it's, it's a good story that, that we've seen so far. Um, but you can buy into that. So anytime, infinite possibilities, endless content for all. Now, with that being said, you can also create your own metaverse. And this was sold to us a long time ago as being something valuable. But I'm going to explain how. So your space, space is your metaverse, is something that you can buy. And there's different rarities. The space starts with rare. Then it goes up to epic, legendary, mythic, and exalted. Well, why is this space valuable? Why is it important? And why do we care? Well, in order for you to be able to generate money within this game, which is what a lot of people are interested in at the moment, you can play the free-to-play side of it. But if you want to get into the economy, you have to have a space. And the reason for that is because you have to have a workshop. There are three workshops in this game. There is the armory, which is used to craft and upgrade cosmetic armor which is going to be your headgear, your arms, your gloves, your boots, your trousers, your chest, shields, all of that good stuff. So that's going to come under the armory. You've then got the forge. The forge is what is used to craft and upgrade weapons. And then you have the time warden. The time warden is used to craft hourglasses and recharge them with sand. Sand being the essence of time. So now you have these three different workshops. They can only be used if they are attached to a space. Okay, now you're going to have to understand, and I'm going to talk about this briefly as we go through. There are different, and I'm just going to go back up to the, um, the game itself. So if I go back to uh, look at the economy here, and I just scroll down, there are different rarities. In fact, no, I want to go to the homepage, sorry. There are different rarities, uh, and we can just about see these here. We go from common, uh, here we go, to uncommon, to rare, to epic, to legendary, to mythic, to exalted, to exotic, to transcendent, and finally to unique. So there's 10 in total. And uniques are one of one. So you're going to start with a common, okay? In order to craft a common item in a workshop, whether it is armor, weapons, or hourglasses, a common needs a common workshop. A common workshop can go into a rare space because if you look at the spaces that are available, rare is the minimum. So a rare space. So let's go down and look at spaces. You have a starter space and everyone has that. It's not an NFT. Everybody gets it. It's your little metaverse. You can, um, you can put stuff in it. You can, you can do it out. It's your little space. You can invite your friends in. It's fine. But then you can connect paid NFT space to that. So you'll have an entrance that goes to this space, and then you have exits. Depending on the size of the space, depends on how many exits that you have. Okay, and that's something you're going to see. There's small, medium, and large, as well as the rarity sizes. So now you understand how many exits you have. Let's say, for example, you wanted three workshops. Let's say that the workshops you wanted, you wanted an armory, a forge, and a time warden. Well, for that to happen, you would need free exits on your spaces. And this is where we start to understand how the spaces work. Now, if you look at this, a small only has two exits. So you would need a minimum of a medium rare to get the free exits. So even if you just wanted to have those free buildings, you would need a medium rare at the minimum, at the minimum. Uh, the other way you can do it is you can have a small, you can have two, and then you can take one off. You can move it around. You can do that as well. Um, that's an option. But I, I would say a small will work. A small will work. So you have one time warden, and then you can mix and match between whether you're doing forging or whether you're doing weapons or, or whatever. And so that, and a large would have five exits. Okay. So there we go. That's what you want to understand about size is the exits. Now, if you want to have an additional space on that, you need to use one of those exits to go to the next space. So if you're going to use a small and you're going to have another small, that means that this small is only going to have one door that you can attach a workshop to. 
So you need to really plan ahead and think about this when you're looking at the size of what you're going to do. But ideally, you want to have an armory, a forge, and a time warden. Now let's talk about these so you understand them. An armory is just going to be used to craft and create collectibles. Forge are same, but with weapons. But the Time Warden, this is what we're going to focus on right now, the Time Warden. Because a Time Warden creates hourglasses. Now the way that hourglasses works is they are a fixed supply. This is vital. They are a fixed supply. They are immutable and they will never change. There is one unique, 100 transcendents and 600,000 commons. Why is this important? Well, it's important because it is impossible to mint the big time token without having an active hourglass. What I mean by that is having an active hourglass means you need to have sand in that hourglass. Having an empty hourglass does not count. You have to have sand, which means you need to recharge it. And there's a real cost to that. So let's have a look and see if we understand how this works. As you go around these dungeons, you can go around standard dungeons, but there are also what are called prestige dungeons or prestige portals. These require you to have a, a certain requirement to access. A lot of the times you can go in there by paying money. You simply pay a fee and that is a premium currency, which is a, uh, a currency which we'll talk about in a minute. So I'll just quickly show you this. The premium currency is a currency that you can only buy from you can only buy this from big time themselves. And it starts off at $5 for 500. Now you've seen this in mobile games, you've seen this in many other games. Most people will use these uh, premium currency to speed up time. If you're crafting something, you want it to be quicker, you can buy in gems or crystals or whatever it might be. So here, these are your premium currency tiscals. These are time crystals. Okay, so they work out as being one crystal, approximately one cent. And you can get a discount if you buy in bulk, but you're looking at your time crystals. One crystal is worth one cent. So now we go back to these prestige portals, and most of them you will have to pay crystals to enter. Now, some of them you pay individually, some of them you pay, pay as a team, some of them you don't need to pay at all, some of them you just need an NFT. And if you have an NFT, you can go into some of these portals. Now, some of them you need a blue NFT, some of them you need an um, early access NFT. Some of them you need a whatever the some of them are specific, it, it varies. And that variety um, allows you to be able to say, well, I've got a collection, I can attach that NFT and go into that portal. These are standard portals, these are prestige portals. The prestige portals are what are gonna give you the big time. So you need to go into prestige portals to get this big time token. Now let's go back to the hourglasses because you need to equip your hourglass with sand in it to earn big time. And here's the thing, your character can have up to five hourglasses attached. And in order to unlock your first slot, you get that for free. But if you want to open up your second slot, well, you need 1,250 of those premium crystals. Now bearing in mind, these are worth a cent each. So that means you're going to spend around twelve and a half dollars, twelve and a half dollars to unlock your second slot. You're going to spend about twenty five dollars to unlock your third slot. You're going to spend about fifty dollars to unlock your fourth slot and about a hundred dollars to unlock your fifth slot. So in total. You're going to spend just under two hundred dollars. You're going to spend $190 maxing out these slots. But then you're going to need your hourglasses. So you would need your workshop with your time warden attached to your space. And you would need to craft. Now when you craft, you have to again pay in these crystals, these time crystals. And again, you can buy them. You can find them in the game. And you will find some. But the game's designed to only give you a few. And you're going to end up buying them. And that's okay. And the reason it's okay is because the money that you spend buying those premium currencies or those cut crystals, you offset about against the money you make from big time. And that is why there is value in this token. And it's why it's leveled out because now people understand, now people are starting to realize you can't just mint this token out of thin air. You might, there's a very, very small chance you'll get some of them, but overall, 
you have to pay to be able to earn these and that is where the and it's brilliant because it's generating income for big time for as a company so we know we've got our space we understand how this time warden works let's look at his hourglasses so now you've got five hourglasses or you've worked up to five you've put sand in each of them which every time you recharge by the way you have to recharge them and the way that this works um, I don't think it actually tells you in here, but it works out about, I think to get two hours of gameplay out of the sand, you need 12, you need to recharge for 12 hours. Now you can pay in premium crystals to speed up that process. And that's what people are doing. It costs about $20 to speed that process up. But if you do that, well, then uh, I think it is anyway, it might be a bit less than that, but um yeah i think it's about at the moment it's about 15 dollars. sorry 15 dollars. i think it is to be able to speed that process up but if you speed that up obviously you can earn more crystals so that's what people are doing at the moment they're paying to speed it up because of the price of the token now with that being said even if you were to wait you would have to wait 12 hours to to put two hours worth of play time inside one crystal let's say you've got five hour glasses five hour glasses talking about a lot of time and if you've only got one time all done it's going to take a while for you to be able to do that all the time that token could be going down so you're you've got to play with that and, and think about whether that works out for you or not now that being said you can also inside your space you can get what are known as cracked hourglasses cracked hourglasses can actually um, appear inside your space there's a five percent chance inside a rare space size of your space is how many cracked appear and the quality of your space is how is the quality of the, um, the time but because they're cracked once they run out they're empty and the drop rate the luck that you get is just a lot less as a result of that so the luck that you get from your hourglass this is what counts the luck and this is what you need to understand so as you're playing a common has a certain amount of luck. An uncommon has more luck. You have more chance of finding those big time and, and those NFTs and things like that. So yeah, luck really does play a big, uh, a big role in this. We talked about the cracked hourglass and how that works. And so yeah, you, you understand the concept of how this works. So we've got these prestige portals. We've got our entry fee. And as we go in, then as I said, you can, um, you can go through um, there's different modifiers and things like that, but you can go into that. And it all requires this premium currency. So at the moment, we're in a pre-season and everyone's racing to get this unique one of one. And when you realize how much it costs to craft, because there's a cost to crafting as well, once you understand that, when you go into this game, you can earn different resources that you then pay with premium currencies to be able to, well, actually with big time, you pay with big time and this raw resource to refine it into something that you can then craft into these cosmetics. And then you can work your way up. So you need to have like three commons to make an uncommon, three uncommons to make a rare. So you understand that there's a constant need of these common resources to be burnt up to make these better resources. So now as you uh, look here, you'll be able to see if we look at the... Um, the rental system, this is what I want to talk about just briefly now, the rental system, you can actually go and rent a space. You can rent a small space right now for $10 a month. All right, so if you went and did that, pay $10, you rent a space. You could also go and buy a space, but a small space at the moment is going to cost you $85. So at the moment, you're going to get about eight months use out of this, or you could just buy it and own it forever. Totally up to you. But you could just go ahead and rent that if you want to at the moment. And at the moment, you're renting it for uh, $10. Now, that's a good deal. If you want some space, that's a good deal. Now, the other thing to consider is you might need to consider a time warden. I want to just let you know about a scam that's going on at the moment so you're aware of it. There are people that are calling these because you can name the title of your rental. And they're naming these Lunar Time Warden to make you think that you're getting a Lunar Time Warden for $23, but you're not. You're actually getting the contents and you need to check the contents. This is a forge. So somebody is calling this a Time Warden, but it is not, it is a forge. And this is far too much money to be renting a forge. 
So please, please understand. Look at the icon. Look at the contents of what you're getting. And if you scroll down, the first Time Warden that you're going to see is here. It's the Hourglass. And it's $190. So you're going to be paying $190 a month to rent this Time Warden. So what you need to understand is, are you going to be able to generate enough money to cover the cost of this? Well, you need to understand what you're going to make as a result. And also, what do they cost right now to buy? Well, if I wanted to go and buy right now a Lunar Time Warden, I'm going to be spending about $400. $420 to get a box, which gives me one. So let's have a look. $394 at the moment for a Time Warden. $420 for a box. And that box is going to give me... Guess what? If I buy that box, I'm going to get a Time Warden. It literally has one Time Warden of common rarity. So there's no point buying a box right now. You may as well just go and buy it here and get, save yourself $20. But that is going to cost you $400. So if you were to rent this, and you were to rent this out at the moment, which is going to cost you approximately $100, well, uh, $190 to $200, you might be better just buying one because if you do, that's like two months worth, right? It's like two months worth. So just bear that in mind. Bear that in mind. Now, these were selling last week for $10 each. You could have bought Time Walden for $10 last week. They have absolutely flown up in price. So just bear that in mind. They are very, very um, expensive right now compared to where they were. And you can look here and you can see. But they're selling. People are buying them. And this gives me hope because this shows you, if you go back and you look, and there's actually a really good website. I'm, uh, I'm going to bring it up and show you it. Uh, there's a really good website that I've used uh, in the past. And uh, I need to remember the name of it, Dashloot. It's called dashloot.com. So dashloot.com, if I come across here and I look at the market and I want to do like a compare, for example, uh, let's have a look. And we're going to look at the... Uh, workshops okay and we're going to look at the common workshops and we're going to look at the t lunar time warden so if we look back here and this is just on the 5th of october these were selling for 17 dollars 17 dollars on the 5th of october that was 10 days ago 10 days ago they were selling for 17 dollars and look you can see here seven orders um there was 27 orders here at 28 dollars $43, 64 orders, $12 at 40, $59 uh, dollars for 12 of them, 26 on open orders there, prices from $25, and now they're at $400. And they're selling. This is what's important. They're selling. Look at that, five hours ago. 400, 400, 400. People are seeing the value here. You could even just make some money buying some cheap ones of these and then selling them. Because look, you can see some of these were selling for like $420. Yeah, $394 now. Now, you have to pay marketplace fees and they take 5% of marketplace fees. So yeah, OpenLoot are definitely clearing up here, taking some money on this. Um, but you need to understand this. Look at these. Some of these selling for $440 just recently. Some of them for $400. So they're selling. They are selling and they're going up in value and there's a lot of mania around this at the moment. So let's take into consideration that you've got your Time Lord, um, that you don't want to buy your box. I want to bring you to the thing I said at the end. So let's just go back and recap. You can play this game. You can equip your hourglasses. If you've got a space and a Time Warden, you can craft them yourself or you can buy them on the marketplace. You can also go to the marketplace right now if you wanted to. Go to the marketplace, NFT marketplace, and you can type in hourglass. And here you can see the hourglasses. Now, if I was to get a common hourglass, I can buy one right now for $12. And if you look at it, it tells you how much time is remaining. If there is no exclamation mark, it's brand new. You want to look at these and see if they've got any time remaining. This one has less than a minute. This one has 98 seconds remaining. Okay? You can see. So you want to work out how much time you're going to get. And it's based in minutes. So if you want to get one that's going to have some time on it, well, you're going to have to pay some more money for that. And you can kind of get an idea as you walk through these and look. And in fact, if I go to, if I go price high to low, all right, 
some of these are just ridiculous, but uh, let's have a look at some of these. This one's got 700 minutes remaining. So 700 minutes remaining. Uh, and you can kind of see the price that some of these are, uh, people are paying out. 3,600 minutes remaining there. So that one's going to be a better one if you're going to get it. 7,000 minutes remaining there. So again, looking at the price of some of these, um, you might actually, if you wanted to, 2,800. There you go. You can kind of see 4,200 there. So again, getting the idea of the price of some of these. Um, this might be something you want to have a look around. You'll find some good deals on here. You actually will find some good deals. Um, but you, you need to understand what you're paying for. Because how much is it going to cost you to recharge these? Look, some of these for $90, 2000 There we go. Now you get into a, a better price range. And again, keep loading down and you'll be able to see these. So I just want you to be aware of this. Because you need to understand how much does it cost to recharge these. There we go. Some of these got a bit less. But some of them, some of them you're still going to pick up some more. But you start to get a vibe and an idea and a feeling. So you can see if there's some good deals or not. Now, a lot of these, as you can see, look at them selling. 10 minutes ago, 11 minutes ago, 12 minutes ago, they're selling all day long. These were selling for $30 the other day. As you can see, look, they're selling for like $10, $11. Then they're selling for like $15. Again, there's opportunities for arbitrage here. There's opportunities to sell these. They're coming down in price. They are. Some of them sold for more. But these, were the, these ones obviously have time attached. Um, but you get the idea of this. So now that you've looked at this and you understand this and you see how this works and you know that you have to pay real money to craft these and then you have to fill them up and recharge them and you work out how much that costs to be able to do that, then you can start to figure out, well, is this a viable business model? And right now, yeah, it is. It is right now. If you've got five common hourglasses attached, you can earn anything in a dungeon, if you're running a decent level 20 to 30 dungeon with a full team of six and you're efficient, you can clear a dungeon out in 20 to 30 minutes. You can earn yourself somewhere between 50 to 100 tokens. So let's just say it's going to take you 30 minutes and you're going to earn 50 tokens on average. That means you can earn 100 big time per hour. Okay, 100 big time per hour is going to be something in the region of $25 an hour. You can generate $25 an hour right now playing this game. Looking at what it's going to cost you to rent and what you need to do. Now, there's some upfront cost to this, of course. I've mentioned that. You have to bear that in mind. And that is why I want to bring you to this. This is happening soon. It is a drop that is happening. And you can see about it if you go to openloop.com. It tells you about this, right? Here we go. The Paragon Mystery Sale Box. Now, this is going to cost $750. It happens in six hours time, and it's going to give you two items. The first is it's going to give you an exalted, a transcendent, a exotic or a transcendent. And you're either going to get an armory, a forge, or a time warden. All right. So just to bear in mind, um, armories at the moment are around two to three hundred dollars. They're they're out three to four hundred dollars actually right now. Um, but you can get them between, I, I picked up my, um, I picked up my forge for $200, um, picked up my armory for $300, but they might sell for more. You can get them for $400 as well. They, they swing up and down. The Time Warden right now, if you were to sell this right now, you could sell this right now for over $2,000 right now. They're selling right now for over $2,000. Now, there's also a 0.4% chance you're going to get a Transcendent. Well, let me just tell you what that is selling for today. All right, we're going to go to Time Warden. So we're going to type in Warden. And we're going to look at the Transcendent. And we're going to look down. There's none for sale right now. Two days ago, $20,000. One hour ago, $20,000. This item right now is selling for $20,000. Not bad for $750. You could sell that right now and people are buying them. What you're also getting is 25,000 time crystals. Bearing in mind they cost about one cent each. That is about $250 worth. Now you could go and buy these from the premium currency, which I think was here, but you can't get a 25. So you'd have to buy a 13 and 13. 
Um, but even so, if you were to do that, that's still going to cost you $200. So $200 is going to get you more, obviously. So you're not going to get as much, but to get those tokens and also to get that box, that box, that box could be worth it. If you pull something nice out of that box. Now, obviously, if you were to spend a $250 and buy two of these, um, sorry, let me go back one. Uh, if you were to buy two of these and one of these, you're going to get a lot more for that. All right. You're going to get a lot more crystals for that. So it's the idea that that armory that you get, that, that armory or, or whatever you get might be worth some more. It's not a bad shout to get because if you're lucky enough to get that, you could, you could really be in with some good money here. But again, totally up to you. Um, just something to consider if you're thinking about this. So check out the marketplace, check out what's going on, have a look into this game. But yeah, I'm really excited at the moment. There's a lot of opportunity here. If you can read between the lines, if you can see what's happening. Uh, and the leaderboard itself. Yeah, the leaderboard itself is something that is I'm very excited about. And I think if you look into it, I'm pushing for the top 500. That's what I want to do at the moment. Now, if we look at where I currently am in this leaderboard today, and now I've only been doing this for a couple of days, I'm currently sitting ranked, I think I'm a, just over a thousand at the moment, something like that. Uh, let me just refresh this because it's not loading properly at the moment. Um, but I'll, I just want to show you this before we end the video. Unfortunately, it's not loading. Now that's unfortunate, but I'm sitting uh, somewhere in the region at the moment, somewhere in the region of around 1,000, maybe, maybe a bit more, a bit lower. But that means that if I hold that place, I'm going to get, I think it's something in the region of about 5,000 big time rewards. I might be wrong. All right, so I'm 1,600 at the moment. Um, and I'm, I'm currently going to earn 5,000 big time rewards right now. My goal is to get into the top 500. That's my goal. And that's what I'm working towards. So let's have a look at what that means. Well, big time at the moment, 5,000. Because if I continue where I am, if I get my 5,000, I'm going to get $1,000. $1,000 just as an airdrop. Well, let's say I get into the top 500, which I absolutely believe I can do. If I can get into the top 500 and this token holds its price, that's $5,000 for a month's work. $5,000 for a month an airdrop for playing a game. If I play this game consistently for a month, I can earn myself $500. So I don't care if I don't make anything else in this month. If I'm just sustaining this so it's not costing me anything because I'm selling, the, um, I'm selling what I craft to cover the cost of the premium crystals, which I need to buy, to be able to get me through the game. So even if I'm not making any money, if I'm just breaking even, if I hold my place in that leaderboard and this holds its value, then I'm still gonna make that money. And the top prize is going to be, at the moment, it is a million, a million big time, and that is currently sitting at about $250,000. So first place is currently gonna get about $250,000, and rightly so, when you see how much they've actually spent. So something you can do here, which is I think a really cool thing, and, and you might want to do this just to, for your own curiosity, go to the leaderboard and look at some of these names. Take some of these names, and I'm just going to take the first place at the moment, which is Aiden, uh, Adrian. Take that name and come across to dashloot.com. Go to analysis and type in whale ranking. Whale ranking. Put their username into here and search and it will tell you how much money they've spent. So this person has spent at the moment $439,000, half a million dollars nearly, um, but they've taken a bit of profit. They're still $400,000 down. Now, you can take some of these people on this leaderboard. Let's take um, DCPP, for example, who is currently 17th on the leaderboard. Well, let's have a look at how much money they've put into the game, shall we? 556. Now, they've probably changed their username because if they've changed their username, um, it won't show up. For example, if I put in my username, it's going to tell me that I've only spent 1,400. But I know if I put in my other username, uh, it's going to say that I've spent another 15,000. And if I put in my other username, it's going to go back, etc, etc. So 
it this dash loop doesn't um doesn't take into consideration changing usernames so this person's probably spent more than that it's just not showing up but it still gives you an idea of what people have spent and the reason i'm showing you this as an example is don't look at them and go oh, they've only spent a thousand dollars and they're there they've probably spent a hell of a lot more than that and changed their username um, but that being said you can still get an idea of what people are spending and what they're doing and it does give you a bit of an idea and rightly so if they're going to get that reward it's justified that's it ladies and gentlemen that's everything to get you started on big time hope this video has been helpful uh, look after yourself and I'll speak to you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.